Hi, my name is Kimberly McIntyre. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate your support. And if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe for more. <laughs> I'm here with my cousin Kira and we are making almond milk and we are making it quicker than ever before. Now, what type of milk do you typically use in your home? We use almond milk, but how I saw my mom make it was soaking almonds. So I thought that was the only way <laughs> you can make it. Okay, so that is a way to make it and it's very quick. You just soak your almonds overnight, takes about five minutes. You do have to strain it, but do you guys typically make almond milk? I wouldn't say regularly. Okay, why do you think that is? You buy it from the store. <laughs> why do you think that you buy it instead of make it? Cause it's faster. It's faster. So <laughs> the only thing is the majority of the ones that are in the store have preservatives, they have oils or they have gums, they have fillers in them that you don't want in your body. And it's so easy to make it at home. You can skip all of that and everything that goes in there is healthy. So we're gonna skip a step of having to strain it and maybe your mom will wanna make it at home or maybe you can be the one to make it at home for everybody else. Good so, <laughs> it, what'd you say? So that's a good idea. <laughs> it's a good idea. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna start out with three cups of water. And a fourth a cup of almond butter. A pinch of salt. If you would like to sweeten your almond milk, you can just add a couple of dates. If you would like that vanilla flavor, put in a little dash of vanilla. Blend it up for two minutes. And that's it. It's ready. Could you complain about this being difficult? Definitely not. No. No more excuses, guys. Make your own almond milk at home. It lasts about five to seven days. Yeah, and I'll go ahead and take it from you. That's it. Put your lid on, put it in the refrigerator. Now, the only difference is that there will be more separation, but all you have to do is shake it right before you drink it. No difference. I've had every family member that drinks this try it, and everyone has said that it's delicious. So, you wanna take a little taste? I would. Okay. <laughs> surprise, surprise, we have another guest on the show who looks just like me, but an older version. <laughs> <laughs> this looks yummy. One for you. Cheers. One, two, three. Right, well, she she has it, but she doesn't drink it. None of us drink it. We all. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to your health. Delicious. See, Thanks. I would actually Cheers. drink this. Mm. Like, okay. I would like this better in my cereal. I get the right. good news about doing it this way is that you have retained the fiber, so it's actually healthier. It's less watery, so it has more substance in the body. So I'm all for it and we love it. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. Honestly, let me know what you think. And don't forget that you need to shake it up right before you drink it. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Thanks for being a part of this, guys. You're welcome. Good job. Give me the clothes out. Mm -hmm.